Lower course is a go. Aaron, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gravity Throttle Racing. My name is Aaron Take. And my co-host is Richard Gear. Richard. Race fans, here we are. We are at the Sweet 16. We're about to begin. Now we have a couple of rule changes. The highest dice on the train will be a three dice. Up to two extra credit points will be awarded to the most impressive drift. However, this cannot result in a win. Only that one driver goes into sudden death with another. Ladies and gentlemen, for this race, the number two seat from Monster Motorsports is Piggy Talil driving a 1998 Subaru Impreza. She's in lane one, now in lane two. The number three seat from PWC Racing is Hadan Song. He drives a 2005 Toyota Audacious Caldina. In lane three, the number four seat from Team Puff is Puff. He's driving a 1974 Mazda RX-3. And finally, the number one seat for this race. From Polo Racing, Los Brothers is Marco Polo. He drives a 1984 Audi Sport Quattro. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking the racing up another notch. Engines have started. This is round one of eight. Here we go, down the Shavano River Canyon. And there goes the audacious Caldina. And oh, Puff was in the lead momentarily. But look at Hothen Song. Take the lead. What an authoritative start. Here we got Puff overdrifting a bit. And look at Marco Polo come sliding in. And now Piggy is in the lead. Whoa, where did she come from? She is taking total command on the runway. Down she goes, looking straight as an arrow around the big U. I think Piggy has got race one well in hand. No one else is in sight. That is very impressive. What a finish. Here we go now. Puff and Marco Polo second and third. And what happened to Hothen Sung? I agree with you, Richard. That was quite a commanding start for Piggy Talil. Let's go back to instant replay. Remember, we saw Hothen Sung well in the lead, but look at Piggy swing around and just completely obliterate the competition, making her way down. And here you see Polo trying to close in on Puff. But Hothen Sung decides to go camping on the Scrambler, I guess. So out of the blocks we go, and Piggy Talil has the lead with four points, and Puff is right behind her with three. This is race two of eight, ladies and gentlemen. And now we've got Marco Polo on the inside with Piggy Talil. Puff and Sung and Puff on the outside. Here we go. Puff is first over the creek as he makes his way, and look at Piggy. Close on in and take the lead around the right turn. Here we go on to Mesa Butte, and Hothen Sung has a great drift. Marco Polo looks like he's just losing out to Piggy on the Joker lane. Look at Piggy and Marco go. Here they are on the runway, well ahead of the competition. Both are really tight. Piggy's got the lead, holding it around the big U, picking and stretching it just a bit, but Marco is right there, and Piggy takes first. Marco Polo in second. Here we come now with Puff spinning around a couple of times for third place. And Hothen Sung, something has happened to him. Richard, something indeed has happened. This is the first time we have seen a driver not make it over the train jump. But look at this gorgeous drift as Hothen Sung has a great start. But watch carefully. While the competition is battling, he has a little bit of a problem getting prepped for the jump and just plummets down to the track. Watch again as he makes his way around. You see him shimmy and shake. That's all it took. He lost his momentum. And the train tracks are down below. Crash. After two rounds of racing, Piggy Talil has taken a commanding lead with Puff and Marco Polo tied for second. The cars are back at the top of the hill, or the mountain rather, and the engines have started. It's a long race down. Here we go. Huff and something on the outside and Puff on the inside. Both are looking great. What a start. Whoa! Did you see Marco Polo fly through the undulations in the snow? And now Piggy's overdrifted, spinning around, trying to recover. But Marco, Marco is looking fantastic. Boy, somebody put something in that fuel because he is well ahead. This is the Marco Polo we saw in the top 32 racing as he makes his way on the scrambler, looking great. And in the background, it's, oh my goodness, it's Puff that's crashed out. Piggy, watch out! And Piggy does manage to get around. Around Puff for second place. And let's go back, ladies and gentlemen, to instant replay. Watch carefully the landing that Marco Polo in the yellow car and just accelerating through the snow, well past Puff and Piggy. Good news is that Hovind Sung did not land on the train tracks. The bad news is that he crashed on the landing over the train tracks while Marco Polo screamed down the scrambler. Puff could not keep up. Piggy shows some amazing escape skills and comes in after three rounds of racing, ladies and gentlemen. 
Marco Polo has launched himself up into second, but Ha Bin Sung has yet to score. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's the last race before the train gets up and running. We've got Ha Bin Sung on the inside. The high sisters are out there on the outside. And they're off. Puff has a great start. Over the creek he goes, and look at Marco Polo. Oh, and Piggy's right there, too. Great competition. On to base of Butte. Marco has the inside lane. Piggy's trying to sneak by. Cannot make it. Marco is backwards, but over the train tracks first. Piggy is, look at how Piggy is closing in. Onto the runway they go. I think Piggy has the advantage, and look at her pull ahead of Marco Polo. Marco is spinning out. Piggy has a commanding lead around the big U. And once again, she handles the, the scrambler very well. Comes in first. Here comes Puff for second place. And Marco Polo comes in third. Where's Hob and Sung? Well, Richard, Hob and Sung over the jump had some trouble on the landing. I think <laughs> it does. I don't. I heard there was no rattlesnake up there, but boy, it sure looked like it got him. Look at this, as Marco Polo has a great drift, but Piggy comes in. Boy, they have really been battling this out. Uh, this might be a prelude to the finals. What an incredible pass by Puff around Marco Polo on the big U for second place. Piggy Talil is in first place with 15, and Marco Polo is in second with 11. Let's go to halftime. round five ladies and gentlemen and extra points are in play the train extra points go up only to three and we are going here we go Hudden Sung has the lead now Puff has the lead look at that nicely done on his part Hudden Sung is right there with him on the Mason Butte oh a little bit of trouble on the drift and look at Marco Polo sneak by what a beautiful beautiful sneak by whatever that is and oh, there goes Piggy oh Hudden Sung he is spun out oh no now Piggy has crashed Oh, smash, smash, and a third smash. And it looks like Marco Polo is limping his way down the scrambler, our only finisher of this round. Wow, that's amazing, Richard. Look at that pile up there. We'll clean that up, but here, Piggy Talil comes and goes, woo! And there goes Hoven Sung. Check out Marco Polo collecting three points. Oh, but Puff misses it. If anyone needed it, it was Puff. There's our crash. As Piggy comes in to the turn at high speed, a little shallow, and creates a traffic jam. Puff gets an extra point for crossing the train, but it is Marco Polo with seven more launching himself into the lead. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now round six, and I have to believe that the high seeds are going to win this, but I'm really feeling for Puff and Sun, hoping that he'll finish this race. Look at Puff go. Puff has always been so quick off the line. But now Hudden Sung is right up there with the high seeds, and down they go in the main lanes. Over. Oh, not very good drifting. And uh, once again, Piggy Talil has the lead. Boy, she has been commanding there. And there goes Marco Polo. But Piggy, the Piggy Show around the big U. And down through the scrambler, she has been so consistent. There's a first place finish for Piggy, second for Marco Polo. And where's Hudden Sung? Richard, you may not want to watch this. Did he crash? Hudden Sung no. tumbles off. Oh, dear. Jump. That's right, Richard. He does manage to make it back on his wheels, and Puff also got stuck before the jump. He doesn't collect any points this round, leaving our high seats higher up, as we have two more rounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's round seven. Really, it is now about bragging rights from Marco Polo and Piggy. And we hope, we hope that Hoven's son will score. Hoven's son is looking great, but Piggy has passed him, and Marco Polo is right there on the inside. Piggy is, oh, she's over drifting, spinning around. A little trouble there as Marco Polo is making his way. Look at him go. And there goes Puff. Hey, Hoven Sung has made the jump. And there's Hoven Sung. Oh, keep the cameras on him. I guess not. As Marco Polo is making his way down the scrambler, Marco will take first. All right, here we go. Puff is in second and... And wait a minute, here comes Hoven Sung. Hoven Sung has finished the race. And uh, Richard has something to cheer about is... Okay, there's a point. By Piggy Talil, and Hudden Sung gets an extra point. Here we go around the big U, as our first place finisher looks great, but watch Puff. He spins around a turn and a half, has to gain his composure, and does so just in time as Piggy gives him a bump. After seven rounds of racing, 
I think the exciting part is that Hub and Sung is on the board. And we've got a three-point lead by Marco Polo. This is the final round, ladies and gentlemen. For Piggy, this is really all about getting ahead of Marco and being the top seed for the Elite Eight. Here we go with Puff taking the lead over the creek once again. Marco and Piggy are right there. Well done by Puff. Okay, here we go into the drift. Marco's looking good and oh, now Piggy's over drifted again. That's been her Achilles heel. Marco has made his way around the S-turn and onto the runway well ahead. Here we go, Poe. Oh, here comes Puff. Puff is right behind challenging and he spins out. Marco's got the lead now on the scrambler. He's always been looking good, making it first place. Other Sun takes second. Here comes Piggy in third for the final race. And ladies and gentlemen, just for review, we see Marco Polo crossing the train, but we want to clarify that even if a car does not make it over the train in time, like we see here, they will still collect one point. Puff and Hudden Sung, great job, you two, for staying and hanging in there and really challenging Marco Polo there. Puff spins it around. He says, I'm out of here. See you later. And Aaron, I love how Hudden Sung never gave up. He took second place, but before we go to the final scores, it was Hudden Sung that had the best performing drift during the competition right there earlier on. He will get two more points. It will not make a difference in the final score. Marco Polo, Piggy Talil will be advancing to the Elite Eight. And next week, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see Polo Brown, the Lone Star, Doc, and Daddy G. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed race one of the Sweet 16. We're tracking. Are you tracking?